Hi guys and Happy New Year. I am actually filming this on New Year's Eve because I did not have any big crazy plans for tonight. And I was like, you know, I want to get a jump start on 2024. So what better way to do that than to start off with a January TBR. So let's get into the video. Um, the first one I do want to mention, I don't have in this stack that's sitting right next to me, but it is actually the Assassin's Blade. I'm like halfway through that right now, so that's why I haven't, it's literally in my backpack because I was at my parents' house earlier. It is very good. I'm very happy I did that before because I feel like it helps me to connect with her as a character a lot more effectively than when I was just starting out reading the Assassin's Blade. So I'm very happy about that. So that makes me thrilled. Also, if you can't tell them my PJs because we're chilling. It's like one of those chill ones. I have not. So this is for my cat scratching me in case you were curious. Um, we are not, uh, what's the word? We're just doing a cozy vlog tonight. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so that's on it. And then the next one, obviously in the series would then be Throne of Glass. Um, I haven't picked up the third one, so I have to do that. And I'm only putting these two in here because I do want to read some other books in the month. Even though I know Crescent City comes out at the end of the month, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through all of these and then Crescent City before I can even get to the new release. Will I probably go out and purchase it? Yes. Um, but I want to get through, obviously, Throne of Glass first before I get into Crescent City and then the third one that has come out. So it might take me a little bit of time just because, as you know, with the Sarah J Maas universe, there is a lot of books in it and it takes a lot of time. And there's a lot of world building. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Belladonna, this was in my one that was purchased uh, in my Black Friday haul. I would like to get into this just because I love the cover. I think it's very intriguing and I am excited to read this one. This one to kind of break up the fantasy because it is a very heavy fantasy month because like I've mentioned before, I was very into that like before like contemporary romance and all of those other books are kind of like newer to me. Like I did not really get into that until Probably 2020 was when I really started branching out and I always was a fantasy girl. So to break all that up, because I noticed that sometimes I do hit a little bit of burnout with fantasy series, as one does because it is a lot of world building. There's a lot of political scheming, a lot of things. I wanted to kind of break up the month with um, Check and Mate by Ellie Hazelwood. My copy is ruined because Target put these stupid stamped the the 20 percent off sticker why why did they do this so i need to get a new copy of it because ellie hazelwood is one of my favorite authors but i have not been able to read this just yet i it was i literally i went to go buy it when it first came out and i kept forgetting to pick it up and then i couldn't find it anywhere locally by me could i have ordered it yes do i sometimes like the thrill of the hunt to try and find it locally in store for the instant gratification also, yes. So this one is on my list as well. It's not that long. It'll probably be a very quick read for me, but I love Ellie Hazelwood and I've heard really, really good things about this one. Moving back into the world of fantasy, that is going to be Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This one is um, has been on my list for a long time. Like I said, I've been following Lauren on her... Um, when she first started talking about writing this, I've been following her for a long time and uh because i liked her bookish content on tiktok but this one i've heard is really cool and i love the i've heard some really good things about the banter and i'm a very very big banter girl so fingers crossed that this will be something fun to pick up and read and then moving on from there is fourth wing i okay so i bought this as soon as the hype was like raging Kept wanting to read it, kept wanting to read it. Then I got into a massive slump for a few months there. That's also why my book count was not as high. Didn't read it. Bought the second one because obviously didn't want to miss out. So these are in January's list because I feel very far behind in the world of fourth wing. And I know that it is something I would be very interested in. And so I want to get into it and I am so sad and so annoyed that I have not been able to get into them. I do have the special editions. Luckily, I was able to nab those. The second one, I didn't even think it was going to come. I just ordered it off Target because I couldn't find it literally in store anywhere. And I was curious as to where it might be. 
and I ended up just ordering it off Target because they had a buy two, I think that was when they did like the buy two get one 50% off deal back in November. And it ended up being the special edition. So I was, I was pretty hyped when I got it in there. I pretty much screamed, sorry. Like obviously since it's New Year's, there's like all kinds of loud like noises going on in my apartment. Um, but yeah, those are like my TBRs. There's two, four, six, seven-ish books. So that's like pretty tall for me. Usually I can get about four done in a month, but we're really gonna try to hammer it out uh, coming up. And then, yeah, four, let me see. Can I do math? Yes, seven. The other thing I did want to mention to you guys that is my latest obsession is the, hold on, my cat is literally about to destroy a dress I need for a wedding. Oh no. This is the little troublemaker. Oh, he has pee on him. Well, that's gonna suck. I had to clean that up after this. I hope you didn't get it on my books or my dress. <sighs> the joys of pet ownership. I'm just kidding, I love my cat. I would not trade anything for him. He's my best friend. Anyway, notable mention before I <laughs> have to go clean that mess up is actually the uh, Brothers, no, the Bromance Book Club. So I had heard people talking about this and it didn't look, it sounded like kind of like cheesy and I was like, nah, I don't, that doesn't sound like anything I would really be into. Guys, the first audiobook, I don't know if the other ones are on there, so don't hold me to it, but the first audiobook is on, um, if you have Spotify Premium, it's on there. I don't know if it's because it's in the audiobook version or what. I am obsessed. I literally have been laughing out loud. I probably look like a crazy person I'm driving in my car and I have that playing. It is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. And I cannot wait to read more of those in 2024 because there's currently five out. So I really, really want to read them. But without further ado, that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Day. This I'll, I'm going to literally edit this right after and then put it up. Um, yeah, it's not a particularly long video this week. I'm going to keep you updated. I'm going to try to start posting at least two times a week. So look out for those videos. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. So I wanted to get started with January 2024. Here we go for TBRs. So, but yeah, I will talk to you guys in the new year and I hope that you're having a wonderful night, morning, good day, or happy New Year's Day if you're watching this on New Year's Day on the, the go live. So Without further ado, I will get into it and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.